So hello people, how are you going? My name is Glenn and today we're just going to have a look at some coins from Fiji. And if you see here, I have series that are of different sizes. So we had the large size here which was used between 1969 and 2009. And the small series which was issued from 2009. So this one has the Queen's Effigy which was minted 2009 to 10. From 2012 they issued coins with uh, animals on it instead of the Queen Elizabeth II's effigy. So let's have a look. So new Fiji does issue commemorative coins and here I have three of them. There's the one cent and this one was issued between 1977 and 82 and it has uh, rice on it and it's an FAO issue. The five cent was only issued in 1995, has a mintage of 300,000, so I have two, and it just says fish and it's an FAO issue as well. And the 20 cent, which is uh, 2003, as you can see from the date there, uh, issued to commemorate South Pacific Games in Suva, it has about one and a half million issued, so it's quite a common coin. Now with uh, Fiji having a population of 500,000, uh, a lot of the coin mintages are actually pretty low. And if we have a look at this one cent coin, it is dated 1980. And it's actually the lowest minted of uh, this one cent commemorative coin with 314,000 coins. But a mintage like that is not unusual for Fiji. Okay, so the next lot of coins we have are the large size coins. So if we put an Australian 20 cent coin on the 20 cent, you can see it's pretty much the same size, same thickness and same weight, as well as the 50 cent coin. Uh, the 1 cent, the 20 cent was first minted in 1969. In 1975, the 50 cent was issued, and in 1995, the $1 coin replaced the $1 banknote. Uh, so before they had the 50 cent in 1975, they actually had a banknote in circulation. And I'll show that in another video. So what is featured on these coins? Well, the one cent has uh, a tanoa, which is a carver bowl. A carver is like a, uh, it's a tuber plant and they use it as, uh, like we use alcohol or other drugs just to make us happy. That's basically what they do, and it has medic medicinal properties as well. The two cent has a palm frond, and obviously it gets quite hot in Fiji, being a beautiful island chain, well, a group of islands in the Pacific, and a lot of Australians actually like to go visit. On the five cent, we have the alali, which is a drum. As you can see, it's got the two... Uh, sticks in which they beat the drum and it's hollow to make a nice sound. The 10 cent has the a throwing carb, uh, Ula Taru 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 Ula Tavu Tavu. No, Ula. Here we go. Its actual name is on it Tava Tava. Lula Tava Tava. So that is like a war instrument. It's just been referred to as a throwing stick, so who knows what they do with it. It looks like a barracas, actually. Like you put some beans or whatever in there and you shake it around. It makes a sound like that. Okay, but anyway, the 20 cent has a tabua, which is a polished sperm whale tooth, so this is the tooth there. And here's a, looks like it could be used as a necklace or easier to hold and this is used in um for rituals in uh, Fijian culture and all 20 cent and 50 cent coins from the 70s except for the first one are actually pretty low uh the 50 cent has a polynesian boat uh kamako and as you can see it's an outrigger it has the main canoe there and it has two support beams on the side and it's powered by wind and 
The lowest minted coin that you should actually try and look for is the 1978, which only has 4,006 coins. But that might actually be an uncirculated coin set, for which uh, I've never actually seen. So those are, oh, get to the $1 coin. It's only 1995, a $1 coin was issued, and it has a sack of molly. And this is a porcelain, so clay, drinking vessel. And it looks like it's just mainly used for ritual purposes. That's why it looks very decorative. So as Fiji only has a population of 500,000, the coin mintages are actually pretty low. But because it has a low population, also the collector's market for these coins is also low. So there isn't a market like there is for United States coins. And... Well, let's go have, have a look at the mintage figures that I have for these coins. So 1973, one cent, has 3 million coins. 1969, which is the first year of uh, Fiji minting decimal coins, 2 cent has 8 million coins, so very common. Uh, the 5 cent has 9.2 million, so very common. The 10 cent has uh, 3.5 million. And other coins in the 70s are actually a lot lower and... I would actually collect those more than this 1969 series. Uh, the 20 cent, 1994, only has 500,000, so one for every person in Fiji. The 50 cent, 1995, only has 480,000. So as you can see, they're all pretty low. And this $1 coin only has 1 million for 1997. So there is all low mintages. The coins issued that correspond to this smaller variety don't have any mintage figures so I can't give you any mintage figures for those coins let's have a look at them anyway so as you can see here I have these coins the top ones are the uh, larger coins and the bottom ones are the reduced size coins and as you can see they kept the same images the metal composition of these coins has changed over time so bronze coins were bronze up until 1987. Then they changed to copper plated zinc from 1990. These coins were copper nickel up until 1990 and then they changed to nickel bonded steel. And these ones are also nickel bonded steel as well. These coins are no longer in circulation. These ones with the queen's effigy up the top. So Let's have a look at uh, this 50 cent coin, so it has the Queen's Effigy. And these ones you should still find in circulation because they correspond to the uh, animal series that is now currently in circulation. So, I only have the lowest three denominations of the animal series because my brother went to Fiji and he didn't actually keep any of the high denominations for me. Oh, that's a pity. But as you can see, the main difference is that the images of the object has actually been reduced in size, and they've put a name up the top of what that actual item is called. Because a lot of people in, um, who go to Fiji wouldn't know what they are actually called. I'm not too sure on in Fiji if people actually know. If you're from Fiji, and it's quite common knowledge what these are called on the coins. Please leave a comment down below. So we'll have a look at the obverse and we'll see what differences there are. So here is the obverse. So this is the front side of the Fijian coins. And as you can see, the queen's effigy has been replaced by animals. Which, I quite like this series. I reckon they're better than the previous series. So, they all have the Fiji name for the animal. So this is a Naka Rowo, Nuka Rowo, and that is a fox-tailed rabbit fish, which is very common around Fiji. But this animal is a bat, and as you can see, it's a, a Beka Mirimiri, Mirimiri. And in English, this is a Fijian flying fox. 
And it only comes from an island called uh, Taviuni, which is endemic. Endemic just means it just belongs to that island. And it's one of the small, most smallest and um, rarest of uh, the bat species in Fiji. So that's very awesome. And it's upside down because, as you know, bats like to actually hang upside down. We actually have our grey headed fly fo flying foxes in Yarra Bend's Park, and I like to go and see them, they're awesome. On the 20 cent, we have the Kadaru Shining Parrot, and this is found on uh, Kadaru and Ono Island. As you can see, it's a beautiful parrot. And in Fiji, it's called a Karakare. I presume that uh, line above the A means it's a long vowel. I should have looked up the Fijian language before I actually looked this. And then you have the 50 cent, which I don't have, which is a hammerhead race. The $1 has a banded iguana. And the uh, $2 has a peregrine falcon. Yes, they have a $2, which they issued in 2012. But in 2014, they had to increase the size because it actually looked like um, the $1 coin, and a lot of people got confused. So on the $2 coin, no, not that one, this one here, they actually reused this image. So this image is actually on the $2 coin. And the $1 coin is pretty much the same as the previous $1 coin. It has this... Uh, uh, water jug on it, but they reduced the weight from 8 grams to 5 grams, so it should actually be thinner. And as you can see, that's milled. The 5 cent was milled, but now it's plain. CD969 is actually milled. Uh, the 20 cent is uh, interrupted milling, which previously is completely milled. The 50 cent is uh, Continuous milling and the you know, one dollar steel milled, and the two dollar is actually plain, it's actually a Spanish flour, the same as the 20 euro cents. So, that is all most of the coins that are in circulation in Fiji. I hope you learned something today. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. and See my links down below because I do have an eBay store which I do sell some stuff and maybe I'll put some Fijian coins on there just in case someone is interested. Have an awesome coin collecting time people. Okay, bye bye.